Lesson number two, a lame C programming tutorial. In our previous lesson, we set up GCC and Vim and configured our environment for C. Now, our first task in becoming an elite C programmer. What is that? Well, we tackle the legendary Hello World. We will create our first C program by opening a blank file with Vim. Open a terminal window, type in VIM, followed by the name of our file, which in this case will be hello.c. Now just a reminder, the .c is the file extension which indicates this is a C program. We press enter to open the file. Now the first time you do this, it will be blank. However, I went ahead and filled this out ahead of time. If you would like a copy of this code, it is available on my GitHub link down below in the description. Here you can see we've got a simple comment up at the top followed by our include statement which is the standard input output library allowing us to use the included built-in function printf. Our main function which will run first when we execute this code is a simple function that takes in no argument and will return an integer. Now all that means really is that it sends back a zero if everything is successful. A few basics in Vim to help you get started writing your first program as it can be a little bit frustrating starting off. You can move your cursor around in Vim a few different ways. Now Vim's designed to be a keyboard only without the use of mouse in general and it also allows you to keep your hands close together by moving the cursor with H, J, K, and L. L keys, which will in turn minimize the number of movements you have to make, preventing that uh, going back and forth between typing and the arrow keys. Enter into what is called insert mode, and that is done by pressing the I button. Once you do this, you will then be able to enter any of the normal character keys as you would with a traditional text editor, and movement of the cursor will then be restricted to the arrow keys only. To exit the insert mode, you can simply press the escape key. Wielding the power of insert mode, we can now use Vim to alter that printf statement to say whatever we like. And how about it? Fert says hello world. So now that we have entered in our text and made our changes, let's go ahead and write those changes. Escape to exit insertion mode, hitting shift, then semicolon, followed by the W and Q. One caveat, if you would like to only write changes and not quit, you can type W and it will stay inside of the editor. If you add the Q, it will exit. Now we compile our words into actions. And more accurately, we are going to compile our code into machine language. How do we do that? Not to worry, it is not too hard. We simply type GCC into our terminal, followed by the name of our file, which in this case is hello.c. We type dash O to tell the compiler we want to indicate an output file name, and we will simply name that hello.o. Now, as long as we didn't make any mistakes, we shouldn't see anything from the compiler. Silence, in this case, is golden. Now, we are ready to move on to the final step, which is executing our freshly compiled code. That's right, you are almost there, one step away from being an elite C programmer. This is it, the moment you have been waiting for. Now. We are going to do this by simply typing dot slash hello dot o into our terminal. Hit enter and behold the glorious output, which is hello world. Congratulations, you have done it. Epic may it be, our journey now comes to an end. You have created your first C program, Hello world.c using Vim, you compiled that program with GCC and finally executed that code with your terminal to view 
that sweet, sweet Hello World output. Many of us started along our journey to excellence with Hello World. It takes time. Be patient. Stay focused. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Drop a like and share with your friends. Leave your experience in the comments. If you need any help, please let me know. Until next time, take care.